Hello everyone, this is Paul with another video, and it is a Saturday night. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do the top 10 challenge and the top 10 Corvettes. And this is a challenge that um, Rat Black asked us to do he did a video on his top 10 and I think somebody else actually started it he did a video on his top 10 Corvettes and I decided to do the challenge also so here is my top 10 in no particular order and then we'll show some honorable mentions so the first one here we are going to look at is a 1969 Corvette Racer. In this red color, it says number 25, it has a roll cage on top. And I want to say I think this came from the Red Liners set. I could be wrong, but that's from what I remember. And this is a 1968 Corvette Racer. In this nice yellow color. Has yellow rims, real rider tires on it. And there's the first one. And then the next one is going to be a 1958 Corvette convertible in blue. Get the white on the side, the silver trim, rear rider tires. Get the painted tail lights, painted headlights. And you also get an opening hood. Not much detail in there, but still it's a nice model. And I believe, it's hard to tell, but I think the base is metal also. It's painted blue. And there's the second one there. Then the next one is going to be a 1990 Corvette in yellow. With the number 84 on the side. And this model, when it originally was released, it had an opening hood on the front. And it looks like they retooled the interior because I remember the luggage in the back. It was like a two-piece interior because the luggage was a different color. So there's the 1990 Corvette. The number 84 on the side has like a racing deco. And here's another one. I believe this one is a 1965 Corvette convertible and forgive me if I get the dates wrong but it does say 65 as a number the red deco as the red rims the real riders and I don't remember where this one came from but it's a cool model in red and this is a 1965 Corvette convertible And then the next one is going to be probably a 1966, I'm not positive, but this is an old school black wall casting with a metal base. Right there, the Corvette Stingray. 
and it does say Corvette there, and it says Chevrolet Corvette on the hood, I mean the roof, and this is the hijacker, because you could jack up the rear end to make it jacked up in the back, or a high raker, I think it, there was a, sorry for the discrepancy, I think it's called a high raker. You could have it lowered, or you could have it jacked up. And then, the next one is a ZR1 Corvette. 2008 I think in black and I love those rims a simple deco that has painted tail lights painted headlights the red and white stripes on the hood right there and some on the back where the tail lights are And that is a cool model there. And then the next one is going to be a C6R Corvette. We actually have two of these of the same model, just different colors. And the first one we have in a racing deco in yellow. It says Hot Wheels number 8. And it has the fast than ever wheels and with a plastic wing on the back and then the next one is the exact same model in blue with racing deco and real riders I don't remember where this one came from I think it came from they came out with a set one year of like birthday cards packaging or the card looked like a birthday present and all the cars had plastic bases but they had real rider wheels on them and this is I believe one of them and this is the C6R Corvette the number three on the side and it has real riders no painted tail lights though and no Painted headlights, but it does have all that racing deco on it. So we got two of those. And then the next one is from the 50th anniversary of the Superfast line by Matchbox. And I'd say this is a semi premium line because it has a metal body, it has real riders, plastic base. In this white, it has full deco, headlights, the black stripe blown over the top. The wing is painted black. It's got the taillights painted. The roof is plastic with the windshield. And then the other thing is, the hood opens to reveal this nice detailed motor in there, which is pretty cool. I said it has a real riders on there. This is when they started using Hot Wheels real riders on Matchbox. And this is actually the 2016 Corvette Stingray. And then the next one, two we are going to look at are actually from Auto World. And this is a 2011 Corvette Z06 in the Gulf livery. And we have two of them. So let's get this out of the packaging. True 164 scale. That's why I love it. And there is a baby blue. It says golf on the side. Painted taillights, painted headlights. 
Actually, they're lensed headlights on the front there. And just like a lot of the auto world, you do get a motor in the front there with the opening hood. Rubber tires, black rims. And then we got the other color variation right here. And this dark blue, it's I think they call it golf blue and orange. I really like this one. That's a bow tie symbol on the back windshield. Corvette on the front windshield, 21, Golf, Goodyear, orange tires, and these both have metal bases, and they both have opening hoods. And those are the 2011 Corvette Z06 models. And there we looked at 10 Corvette models. And now let's go to the honorable mentions. And we'll look at these really quick. And the first one I'm not sure what year this Corvette is, but this is a regular treasure hunt. I believe and it's from the super chromes it's a metal base but it does have a plastic body on it this model for some reason they change it from metal to plastic but I think it's kind of cool with those type of chrome rims there chrome body the super chromes deco Yes, it is the treasure hunt because you can see the treasure hunt logo on the back there. The regular treasure hunt. So there's the first honorable mention. And the second one, this came out in 1970 and this is a Matchbox super fast model. And I want to say that might be a 78 Corvette. I'm not 100% sure. In white, the red stripes on the top, and the red and black stripes on the side with the 09. And that is a basic matchbox, super fast. And it does have a metal base on the bottom there, painted in red. Then the next one is another matchbox. This is a 2015 Corvette Stingray. And this one is a police version in silver. And then you got the blue deco and it's a Paliza. And you got the painted headlights. It says O2 on the side there. And this one, I actually swapped out the wheels and put real riders on it. So as you can see, it has rubber tires. I just thought that would make it cool. And then the next one, I don't know what year of Corvette this is. It's a newer Corvette. It's kind of a custom one. But this is actually a Transformer Jada. Jada Toys makes this. And it is a, actually a Transformer version. It does not transform. But it does have a silly like Transformer head on the bottom. With the Autobot symbol as the head right there. It does have rubber tires. I thought this one was kind of cool. Silver headlights. That cool wing on the back. It's like this 
Spectre Green or something. I just thought that was a cool model there. And then the next one I'll mention is a Matchbox Super Fast, another version here. And it just says uh, Chevrolet Corvette C6 in silver. Those basic super fast wheels. You got uh, painted headlights. Turn signals and painted tail lights. And a simple basic paint job. And then we got two more models left. And this is either a 66. Or it could be older than that. Actually, 1963 Corvette. This is by Jada Toys. One of my favorite years, a split window there. Yeah, I believe it's a 63, I think. And this nice orange color. The black flames. And you got the chrome front bumpers and chrome rear bumpers. And it does have a metal base. Big tires in the back. And then the last one, because these last two definitely are not 164 scale. But this last one is pretty cool. I like it. And this is a company that no longer exists. They weren't around for that long, maybe two or three years. And it's a company that was called One Bad Ride. And they made some pretty cool models, even though they weren't 164 scale. And this is one of them. Painted in this nice red color. It's like a custom Corvette. It's nice custom wheels. The wing on the back. This cool exhaust. And then you got this two-tone interior. You got a fire extinguisher in the back. Small roll cage. Looks like you got painted seat belts also. And then there's the base. There's the exhaust. And actually 2006 Pro Mark Company LTD. And then you look there. It says www.onebadride.com. But like I said, they're no longer around. But that is a very cool model. And there you go. My top 10 Corvettes. Plus honorable mentions. And I just want to say thank you very much for watching the video. Thanks to Rat Black again for making us aware of this challenge. And I was glad I was able to do it. Took me a little while to get all these out. And there you go. I have a lot more Corvettes other than this, but these are the ones I wanted to showcase. So again, thank you so much for watching this video. And please like, share, and comment. I do read them all and tell me which one was your favorite. And thank you again, and we'll see you at the next video. Bye.